Now I have to say, man, uh, I'm, 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 I keep watching the news and, and just break my hearts, man. Uh, keep seeing that, you know, the, 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 the number of, of, of migrants leaving Africa to go to Europe and the amount of, the, the amount of people dying, dying to this journey, man. It's, it's just crazy. And uh, I just, I was reading this article and they said that over 60 billion euros are spent to curve the migration uh, from Africa to Europe. And yet the problem keep increasing and most likely will double as the population increase. But what's the problem? I, I started researching what is the real problem? And, and where is this money going? So, so check out this vlog. I, I think you, you, you'll find that interesting also. Henry Yakarundi, the innovative, behind the innovative entrepreneur from Rwanda. Pour plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henri Nyakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipage reçoit son concepteur, Monsieur Henri Nyakarundi. Now I don't have to tell you all those. You know, I, I don't even watch the news as much as I used to because it's just neg negativity, negativity, you know, and, and, and just bad stuff going on. But um, you keep, I mean, I keep seeing all the time on the news, capsizing boats, that, that amount of people dying, especially women and children. It, it's just crazy to me. It's just crazy to me. And, and the fact that people are willing to take that risk crossing the desert, going through now Libya and all those war zone countries, you know, with, a, with a, a chance to be killed, kidnapped, selling to slavery, which is another uh, crazy story. Uh, what piqued my interest in, in this whole saga story, you know, is the amount of money Europe is spending to curve that problem um, and the amount of money that is being pumped into different countries because they looked at they, they're looking at most of those migrants come from West Africa Nigeria um, uh, Eritrea um, and and so they, they, they their strategy is to pump money to those government trying to curve but it's not changing anything um, so I want to talk a little bit about where the money's going, how they structure, how the the the, 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 the different funds, and less than 15% of that fund, or that money, it's supposed to create economic opportunity. Now let, let's think, let's, let's use logic. Why those people, uh, why people migrate, first of all, is for economic opportunity, because they don't believe anymore that they're going to get the, 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 the the opportunities in their own countries, or so they're living in extreme poverty, um, they feel left out, uh, so they want to go to better pasture, you know, better places. But why Europe? Why not neighboring countries? Why not Southern Africa, Western Africa, East, Northern? You know, why always Europe? Obviously, for 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 different reasons. You know, I I, I believe the media plays a role entertainment plays a role and us that you know even diaspora especially in this world of social media of how we show the lifestyle of, of how we live i think that's a big big problem why most of the money is not going to you know solve the root of the problem and it, my my question is you know 60 billion the majority of the money goes for border uh, system and, and you know, border technology to better, uh, to help local government, you know, filter border patrol and all so people don't, you know, come in and out. That, that's, that's dumb. You know, first of all, that's dumb. We, we live in an African continent that is actually trying to develop blocks where we can freely move to increase economic activities, to increase trades, 
you know to minimize control and all those things so when 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 people try to go to a place illegally they're not going to use the traditional way and we all know how you know most countries in africa border control it's it's not going to happen you know our borderline uh, miles and miles uh, thousands of miles of, of of borders across different countries there's no way even the states have been unable to control the mexican border so who who who, who come up with those you know solution on how to use the money why not focus on economic opportunities and not just economic opportunities and i know EU is trying to do certain things around that, but it's also going to fail because, again, we, they're developing programs without consulting locals, right? So all those programs are designed and wrote in Europe with by people that don't necessarily understand the, the problematic, the ecosystem, the dynamic, the cultural dynamics, and all those factor in, you know, and then who's doing what locally. So it's just always a top to bottom approach and that most likely will fail and they always fail. When you're trying to solve a problem, it has to be a bottom up approach. That's one thing I learned the hard way working at ARED and that's one thing I, I've seen NGOs, companies keep failing into their um, programs because of the approach they have with the, with the program. And I, I, I want to end with this. And that's my story um, that I, I, I experienced two years ago. Was it two years ago? Yeah, I think it was two years ago. I was in Milan. I was in Italy uh, two years ago for a competition. And I was in a city. And I saw so many Africans begging on the street. And I was asking to some people, you know, the situation, uh, how they're suffering how they're getting killed by local communities because of racism and because they feel like they're taking their jobs and how the mafia is involved in their trade in, in human trafficking they've become commodities with you know um they, they don't, there's not even looked at, at like humans anymore they're just becoming commodities and those are young people on the streets begging and, and in my mind was, is their situation today better than where they were? I don't think so. I, I truly don't believe. Because at least you're home, you have family. Yeah, you're extremely poor, but you have, you're around your family, on your land. There's certain issues you don't have to deal with. You don't have to, you know, unless it's a, it's a war zone country, then that's a different story. Uh, but most likely i don't believe that their situation is better than where they were and i try to talk to one of them when you talk you know and and mostly young people very young extremely young but they're hopeful they're positive why can we create this hope on the continent that's what we gotta do and the only way we can create that hope is to create economic opportunities in those communities